Perfect timing, man. What's up, buddy? Matt, nice to meet you. Oh, I love your hair, dude. Thank you, thank you. All right. It's that's not the best right now. That's awesome. Point exactly to what's going on with it. Well, that makes it a lot easier for me, buddy. Well, we hope. <laughs> we that's hope. All it is. Another reason why I wanted somebody else's eyes on it. Yeah is to know maybe a little bit more about why this could have happened so right here this pipe it's sitting in there really loosely because it just kind of fell out yeah um but it used to just be so well i'll tell you you see how it looks like it's like sort of melted so this is what happens is this this is plastic obviously uh -huh. and that engine gets incredibly hot so just over a variety of different times of it getting hot and cold and hot and cold just like any plastic it becomes brittle to where it can just break off like that uh -huh. you know what i mean and so it's just it's just components man it happens buddy what's the camera for it's my uh how'd you how'd you find me uh uh actually the guy who was telling this for me um i was like you know anybody and he was like yeah i do actually okay so you that's wild man yeah. well i don't want to toot my own horn buddy but i'm pretty popular with the boys back in town so it's for uh my social media so but ultimately it's for my business yeah but so like this is probably my most in heightened one because i have like almost four hundred thousand on there uh -huh. but it's just my business that's so incredible but yeah but as a mechanic dude it's you always gotta you know cross the t's and dot the i's like i was saying and i don't want to I don't want to have any the the downfall I've seen with a lot of people starting their own business was people was people in general. You know what I mean? Like someone having something negative to say or somebody just deliberately saying stuff that's not true. So I was like, I'll just record everything so it's not yeah. you can't do that to me. But yeah. That's so that's wild. I thought you I thought you found me from my you are one of the first customers I've had probably in like a year huh. that hasn't been from my social. That's pretty intense. That's pretty incredible, man. Well awesome pretty cool i know the guy who i uh had that same dude that referred me drop off vehicles to my house uh -huh. so uh yeah and we've spoke so i could see why i'm just wanting to get an idea of if there's any other components that are like cracked or brittle or need to be replaced overall it looks pretty were you having any problems with it prior or did it, that just happen um I, yeah i could well my ac's been out for a long time uh but i haven't i'm not overly concerned with that but like uh, running wise like performance like the engine itself did it run good or it gets hot oh does it, it gets yeah really hot. well that probably is because of that it was probably leaking for a bit and i would do it for you for like 150 bucks really yeah it's, yeah like i said it's, it's i've done a bunch of them and they're pretty easy but that being plastic dude i don't know see that's what's crazy if you see my videos you'd see i've worked on a lot of other plastic components for the heating um in general where they've broken off and stuff because it's just plastic you know what i mean yeah. it's just it gets hot and cold and hot and cold and uh so yeah that's that's what that what that's what happens ultimately but i can oh i see what you see they to keep this in place they put this little screw there yeah kind of like being a little innovative yeah i can do it for you man let me just get the uh info off of this bad boy for you from you okay. like off of the door and then I'll get a couple of prices on what we need and then I'll send it over to you. I actually don't have any appointments today because I'm getting this tattoo finished right here. Uh -huh. So I, I didn't take any appointments. That's why I was like, well, I'll come out to you in the morning. I was just having a, man, I was having a nightmare with this thing. I had to put my brakes on yesterday and my one side wheel was like stuck on there. I had to use a hammer. And on the other side, it was severely stuck to where I was trying to use a hammer. How we going? And uh, I ended up having to use a pry bar my foot i mean all sorts of things. it was a nightmare so i was like by the time i got done with that i was like man I'm just i was gonna come out here though if i needed to but i was like awesome he'll let me come out tomorrow yeah. but yeah just get i'm not gonna charge you diagnostics fee because that wasn't you already freaking that was just me coming over here yeah. yeah that's just a little plastic elbow they actually sell them in a whole variety kit like you can get a whole kit of these things uh at like AutoZone or advanced uh -huh. yeah you can just see it melted there but yeah, man, just give me like, give me like an hour. I'll get home, 
get everything that I need to and I'll send it over to you and then we'll just take it from there. Cool. What'd you say your name was? Spencer. Spencer. Nice to meet you, buddy. It's good to meet you. Yeah, it's really good to meet you. All right, I'll talk to you soon, my man. It's good to meet you, man. Likewise. All right, so here's the deal. This is where a lot of things get misconstrued in my business. Uh, and I've had people commenting like, you only knew diagnostics and stuff like that. But here's the deal. I don't, generally, most of the time, I don't do a, a diagnostics at the same time as like a repair. Like in that situation, I, I would do a diagnostics, see what we need, assess that, and then make an appointment to come back out here and do it. Um, and when I do diagnostics like that, I make those appointments be come before new, like new appointments. You know what I mean? If I had a person call and say like, hey, I need an alternator replacement, that person would get put behind the person that I just diagnosed, if that makes any sense. Let me put my seatbelt on. Jeez. That being said, there has been a few, di few different times like in a starter situation where I would diagnose it starter. Okay, I'll go pick one up real quick and come back. Um, there has been times like that and typically only because the appointment that I was supposed to go to next either canceled or rescheduled. Because I try to make my appointments, diagnostics, and then repairs differently. Especially, dude, I've had two people, I've had two people say like, your time management skills is terrible. And I'm like, dude, you time manage an alternator replacement and an AC repair uh, and then a diagnosis after. And you think that it's six hours is enough for all those things and then eight hours later, you're still on your second repair. Things like that happen. Okay, and that's time management's out the freaking window when it comes to mechanics like that. You know what I mean? When you're a single independent mechanic and you can't really, dude, it's like how are you supposed? It's incredibly hard to time. It's it's incredibly hard to time manage a freaking how long a job's gonna take you because there's so many different things. You could get the wrong part. Something couldn't fit. The part could be failed. I mean, there's a whole that could not even be the issue to begin with. You get called get called out there to put in an alternator and. Put it in and figure out it's a freaking wiring issue that you're having to diagnose afterwards. So, I mean, there's a lot that goes into play. Uh, and you know who you are, too. And I know you're watching this video. My time management sucks. Are you kidding me right now? You do what I do and then try to tell me you're going to be home in a decent hour. I get yelled at almost every night. But what a great kid. Much love to everybody. Thanks for all the follows, all the likes. Let's get it. On to the next one. Actually, I'm on my way to get my tattoo finished up. And uh, hopefully we actually get it completely finished. That way I can post the video of it. Because that would be cool.